Good evening, everyone. I uh, want to set this video off by first apologizing that I cannot be there with you guys this evening. Because I didn't see you, I know this is a huge, wonderful evening for you guys, so it really breaks my heart that I cannot be there. You guys know it breaks my heart. And it better break your heart that I'm not there as well. <laughs> but uh, I tell you what, I'm so happy for the two of you guys. I know this is going to be a uh, lifelong journey that starts tonight, and I'm, I'm very happy about that. And I'm very blessed and have both of you in my family now. So yeah, I welcome you to my family. I welcome you to the Cahill side of things. You're, uh, you're truly a terrific young woman, and uh, we're blessed to have you. And I want you to make sure you know that. But I really do admire you. Your commitment is nothing but a sweetheart to day one. And you have to keep, you have to keep relaxing, too. You go, hello, and you go, hello, hello, hello. Every time I think of you, I, uh, I think of that. So I tell you what, Dustin, I know you're probably, you're probably very nervous, and I, uh, I can honestly say that I believe you got a pretty good girl in your hands. I know I still have uh, been in a class act since we've all met her, so pretty sure you did, pretty sure you did okay on that one. Um, on the other side of that, though, Celia, I think you're going to have your hands full with this one. I know Dustin uh, is a class A gentleman, very, very intelligent man. He's uh, right up the alley, one of the best guys you'll ever meet. But Dustin is quite lazy. <laughs> I, uh, I grew up with a man, and I'm pretty sure that I have to use a walker and he's dragging his feet more than that. He's walking around a little bit clumsy. But he really is a good guy, though, so I guess it makes up for it somewhat. I tell you what, whenever you guys go to, uh, from your honeymoon, I think Dustin might have to maybe get a new job, make a little bit more money so you can stay home. So you, um, maybe you can just follow him around and try to straighten him out a little bit, clean up after him, teach him how to iron his work shirts. Teach him how to do regular stuff that every man's supposed to know how to do. And uh, don't hopefully, so you don't ever, uh, don't ever make plans at home and try to do something sweet for your guys' wedding anniversary or for your Valentine's Day or nothing like that. Don't expect us to cook for you because you'd be lucky if you get a bowl of Cheerios or you might order a pizza. That might be one of the best things you can do. You can also make macaroni and cheese too, so that's about your probably full extent menu that you're going to get from Dustin. And then you're going to clean up after you guys get done as well. So I suggest you guys go out to eat for any special holidays or loving times like that. But all joking aside, guys, I know I know that you guys are both very happy. And it makes me happy. Dustin, you, uh, you've you been there for me. Always been there for me since the day one. The day one of the walker here since I had my accident and had the old spinal cord injury. We spent four months together in the hospital, and I know that wasn't a good time. I know that it was not very many your age that would give up their everyday careers and everyday social life and get up and have to fly to Colorado and stay there with your brother for four months. That means a lot to me, Dustin. I know I've never told you thank you, but thank you from the bottom of my heart. There's not too many men that are like that in this world. And I know it got you out of work, so maybe that's why you did it. <laughs> um, no, can't say anything but thank you on that one. Now you can just have Dustin. Everything in my entire life, I've asked you for advice from business stuff to girls to dirt bikes to anything. And you've always been there for me, which means a lot to me. So thanks again. All right, guys. So I'll tell you what. I know you guys are going to have a wonderful life together. I know that, uh, that God's going to bless you guys because you guys are both children of God. And I know you believe that. And you guys have honestly helped me, uh, helped me find God. So thank you guys both for that as well. That's a huge part of my life now, and I don't know if I'd be there if it wasn't for you, Dustin, and, and for some of our talks even, so yeah, so. I, uh, I want to make a toast right now to Dustin and Celia, so everyone please. I want to uh, to make a toast to a uh, life full of happiness, to a life full of wonderful, wonderful memories, and to a long life of long-lasting love. So cheers, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy your night. Cannot wait to see you guys. Mr. and Mrs. Steinmetz, I cannot wait to meet you guys along with Celia, your siblings. I'm so sorry I missed everyone tonight. I cannot wait to see everyone soon. Have fun tonight. Enjoy yourselves. Good night.